My friend wants a Tripoli board, and if you don't know what that is, it's kind of like a Lazy Susan that holds a bunch of uh, uh, condiments and stuff, except this one is used for uh, a, a game called Tripoli. And I'm going to make it out of this uh, one inch thick pine stair tread, and uh, I think I'm going to uh, cut it in half, pin it back to back together, and make, give myself a nice square to start with. Uh, then I'll uh, cut it out on the CNC router and uh, add the bearing to the bottom. And we'll see how all that goes. We'll start by measuring to cut it in half. Now as the rain comes down, I'm going to dowel and pin this together. And we can uh, let that set up while I uh, do the CAD file and uh, create the tool pass for the CNC. Here I'm using dowel points to transfer the location of the holes to the mating part. Okay, so anytime you do dowel pins like this and you're trying to match two sides to the other, um, you always want to do a test fit before you do the glue up. Now, I've done the test fit and it is ever so slightly, less than a sixteenth of an inch off. Close enough, I'm just going to sand that out, or actually I'm just going to let the CNC uh, deal with that and uh, I'll do a facing pass and plane it off and uh, then let it cut the pockets into the uh, into the wood. Okay, well there, there that is. That's looking pretty good. It's nice and flat. That's all right. That's going to be good. Okay, here's my model in Fusion 360, which is the software I'm using to uh, create the model and generate the, uh, the cam for the uh, CNC router. We'll go ahead and run the simulation and we'll see that it's uh, starting to route out and it's looking pretty good, but it's not getting the top uh, corners yet, which is not good. And now, look at that, it, it's starting to cut out the corners of the stock. And the corners are what's supposed to be cut out last because they are what hold the whole thing onto the CNC router table. So I don't know where I went wrong on this, and I also don't know how to troubleshoot and fix it in, in a timely manner, so I've got to take a new approach. Well, that kind of sucks. I was really planning on using the CNC router. My uh, friend wants this by the end of the week. I need to get this thing cut up today so I can get the finish on it. So I'm going to have to go old school on it uh, and make a template and use my router. So uh, the, the direction of this project just changed. Now I'm going to cut this out on the scroll saw 
and make a template that I can use my dish cutting bit for my router. Now I'm going to cut it out on the bandsaw and I'm going to cut the, uh, the template with it. I'm going to cut wide of the scribed lines, then I'm going to sand up to the lines with the oscillating belt sander. I hit a snag and what it was is trying to stretch the felt into the pockets. So uh, what, I'm, what I've decided I'm going to do is I've made a couple of cutout uh, boards that match the original template and uh, I'm just going to lay the uh, felt over the top of these whatever you call them and then uh, I'm going to use that to, to stretch it. I think I'll get the best result if I cut out eight of these and install all of it, wet it, and dry it in the new shape. Now I'm just going to let that dry. Alright, well it's the next day. Let's pop this out and see if it, uh, if it produced the desired result. Well, I think if I use these to, to lock the felt in place while the glue dries, That might work. So I'm going to go ahead and try that. Okay. I think I'm going to just lock these in. Well, there it is, the Tripoli board. So that's the Tripoli board, and uh, if I had to make it again, I'd do it differently because uh, the effort it took just to make the template, um, if I had made the template out of thicker material and just put a flat piece on the bottom of it, that would have been the board right there, and then all I would have had to do was uh, cover it with felt. Anyway, that's uh, live and learn, right? and uh, hopefully I'll figure out what I did wrong on the CNC router file. Meanwhile, if you want to see my last video, click up here. And if you want to see something YouTube thinks you'll like, click up here. And have a good one.